Hello Taurus, this is Mary Ann here from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. How are you wherever you are in the world when you're watching? Huge shout out to you Taurus. Uh, this is for your sun sign rising or if your moon is in Taurus you might want to tune in. It is a general reading though so uh, take that at take it at face value. Um, if it does resonate with you, claim it. If not, move on, come back to it later on. I have viewers who do that and it starts to make sense then. Um, what else do I need to let you know about? Uh, if you see uh, people are um, stealing my logo and pretending to be me and approaching you for readings. I don't do face-to-face -face readings. Block them, report them. It's a scam. Also in the comments section, uh, my channel name has a grey a circle around it. That's YouTube's tick of authenticity. No grey circle. Then it's a scammer. All right. So what they do is they put an extra T somewhere or put an underscore into the channel name. Uh, but they've actually stolen my logo and the, it's it's a scam. So block and report them. Uh, look for the grey circle around my channel name and you know it's me. Okay, Taurus, let's get started. I'm using the Animal Spirit Oracle, the uh, Night Sun Tarot uh, by Fabio Listrani and the Aquarian uh, Tarot by David Palladini, the late David Palladini. All right, uh, let's draw a overarching <clears throat> animal spirit oracle for you. Taurus, what's going to be happening for Taurus in April? What's happening? <laughs> I'm seeing a crystal ball. Uh, what is this? Some sort of future gazing. Hmm. All right, let's have a look. Oh, the phoenix rising from the ashes. Man, this is transformational energy. So that's what you've got coming in. There's something transforming in your life and it's beginning in April. You might have been planting the seeds for it right now, uh, but there is definitely a transformation. You're, you are undergoing a transformation. And this is around your creativity, your uniqueness uh, with the zebra. Um, you're starting to look at things um, in a different way. You're starting to hear. It's like an opening up of the third eye. And you're understanding uh, the parts of you that you once that were once hidden from you and you're understanding that they are unique, they are of value, and in some way this is connected to your confidence, which gets a um, which gets a supercharge in in April, and it's around you now being more adaptable with this frog. Um, the frog leaps and and goes places uh, and doesn't think twice because the frog can adapt to its environment. So I see uh, there's a difference coming in to, in April you're going to start something new perhaps uh and what whatever the, the newness is for you in April it really it really is like this phoenix uh a, a little bit of a not a little bit a lot of a transformation in not just obvious ways I feel this is a transformation of your spirit, of your, it's like, again, we have those transformations when we come back home to ourselves in some way, the moth heading toward the light out of the darkness. So April's going to be with that phoenix and those cards, um, quite a good month for, for some, uh, particularly those that are starting something new. It's going to be very important in more ways than one. And in some way, it sets you on, given the crystal ball I saw. It's like someone is holding out. Um, it's like the truth and authenticity. In some way, it sets you on a pathway to the future. All right, let's draw some uh, night tarot cards, night and sun, for Taurus in April. Show me Taurus in April, please. Show me Taurus in April. Taurus in April. Can you show me Taurus in April, please? Taurus in April. We'll go past, present and future. Taurus in April. Okay, so we have justice in the in the past. So some something came together. You are making decisions at this time. All right, let's see what's anchoring them down. Mm. 
Yeah. All right, let's um let's bring the laptop down so you can see those cards as I talk about them. Okay, so the um the past, present and future cards, we get the justice card which is a balancing of the scales. It's often quite a karmic card. It's a universal, um, a universal law type of card. It's like the struggles of the past. Somehow you reached a point of equilibrium where you, that what was coming into you, the the what you were taking on, it was fairly balanced, or out with what you were giving out now Matt, that you may have had to work on that um over the literally years um but i feel you achieved you you achieved some kind of balance that you didn't have before now in the present you've got the two of swords you have decisions to make i keep being drawn to the cosmic egg this is around truth integrity and transformation as well show me i just want to pull a clarifier two of okay that one wanted to come out and that's the lamb innocence innocence um innocence and what else do we have here oh yeah the snake completion so there's been a growth in your uh, awareness i feel and now it's time to make a decision about the future or whether or not as i as i thought for some of you something that you're going to take on in april now in the future we see the three of wands um and that is aries energy so that's taking action uh really for the future which is again what i thought now the justice card is anchored down by the knight of pentacles reliability and sustainability you had to attain that stability before you move forward with this decision and the page of pentacles this is really putting your past to bed it's like transitioning from innocence youth to a greater awareness now in the present as i said you've got decisions to make about how quickly you move forward with something that is anchored down by the chariot you do not want repeat of the past you want to expand and you want to try these new things but you don't want to you're a bit cautious about the ride will it be rocky will it go off track and then we get uh, further anchored down by the seven of wands. This is standing your ground. I think you're you're quite determined to do this, and whatever comes your way, you will handle it. And that's that's what I feel is your thinking process in the present. If we look at what's anchoring down the three of wands, this is abundance waiting for your ship to come in. The death card is is pregnant with potential so when something ends in every ending there's a new beginning but you, in order to end you have to end something you've got to let go let go of what let go of the past and this is anchored down by the queen of wands this is around um this is around getting motivation and stepping forward into your uh into your passions and motivations uh, and perhaps pursuing them so i think all i think at the base of the pack we've got the moon card this is you know emotional can be emotional turmoil but it's also things coming to the surface we have the page of swords um we get uh we get here some kind of awareness and truth coming forward and the king of wands acting on that truth with bravery um I don't think you're going to be undermining yourself uh, in any way in the future. I want to see what else is the King of Cups. Yeah, this is the getting of uh, getting of wisdom around these matters. And anyone you feel might have been you you know in your mind not acting in your best interest, you're actually you've got the wisdom to take the higher view, and that's often when the um, when the phoenix arrives 
because the phoenix ascends. It ascends toward the heavens, literally out of the ashes of the past and the old. And it ascends uh, in wisdom. And here I see the king of cups for you. So I think something new is on offer in April. I think it's tied up a lot with the past and a lot with deciding to let go of the past and embrace the future in some way. So uh, finally, some oracles from my own Revealing Light oracle deck, details of which are on my website. And let's take a look at what might be coming up in April. What are the, the messages from Spirit? Messages from Spirit for Taurus for April. You got some interesting cards there. Embracing change, at times not easy but often necessary, would fit with your reading. Resetting fixed beliefs and moving forward. I'm smiling because I love it. And here you get the frog again, adapting, finding your way. So base of the pack is illumination. You've got the light of awareness shining upon you in April Taurus. So lovely lot of cards. All the best. I will uh, see you again next month. Thank you.